So this is Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe, joined today by Team SAC leader, Mario Addison. So you know how this goes, guys. We talk a little bit of football, but mostly this is about the fans getting to know Mario as a person. And then I'm gonna start at the beginning. If you're watching this video, and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. That way you can see these interviews with this guy, all the other guys that I get with one-on-one -on -one interviews. And the Hornet season's coming up, so you'll see some of those interviews as well. Mario Addison, what's going on, man? I'm good. I was Dress, like, dressed in all black like an assassin today. Oh, man, what do they call it, man? <laughs> field killer. The who? Quarterback killer. Quarterback killer? You've been doing a good job of that, man. I'm trying to, man. What's the I'm season trying. been like for you so far? Oh, let me turn this music down. Are we over here rocking? Let it ride. <laughs> I was enjoying it though. But go ahead. What's the season been like? <laughs> so far, it's been okay. I say okay because the season started real slow. Like for me and other people too. It just started out real slow. Normally I get a good jump in mm -hmm. the beginning. But this time I kind of started out slow. But on the back end, I kind of, you know, started momentum. picking it up. Good, you know what I'm saying? Good, good momentum or whatever. But, um, Overall, you know, um, it ain't where you start, it's where you finish. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty uh, glad on how, how the season finishes for me as, as a person, you know. Uh, I'm just here, you know, to make a difference, try to make a difference. So that's the main thing when I get on the field, try to make a difference. Now the team, ultimate goal, of course, is the team goal. Yeah. But then you still, beneath that, have some personal goals. You're at eight and a half right now? Eight and a half right now. Have you thought about, you know what, Sunday I want to get what? Have you, have you thought about that? I got to get two. You want to get two on Sunday? A minimum of two. So you want to end up with t ten and a half? Ten and a half. Okay. Ten and a half. Cheer for Mario to get ten and a half sacks. Yeah. I mean, two more. So we have a total of ten. We can do it, y'all. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the vibe like in that locker room right now? You know, everybody, um, everybody's still happy. You know, um, just to be able to be playing the game, man, you're blessed. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of people outside the fence wishing they was playing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody keep their head up, you know what I'm saying, and just keep everything positive. So. It's a really big family atmosphere. I don't know if people outside get to really see yeah. how much. I know we just talked about before we got on live that mm -hmm. a lot of you guys do Instagram live and that's yeah. giving you no, another preview, like how yeah, much you guys yeah. actually yeah. hang out. Like you say, it's a, fam it's a big family, man. Um, it started, it's brotherhood more than anything. You know, if, if, if you want a team and nobody like each other, then you're not going to play with each other. Right. You know? And then um, that goes all back to, you know, trusting each other. So that's why, you know, you can call him your brother because, you know, when they line up on the side of you, you know, they're going to give you they all, you know what I'm saying? And they expect the same, you know, from you. So it's a brotherhood. All right. Like I said, we're going to talk a little football. We're going to go all over the place today. A custom shoe box. What do you need a custom shoe box for? You got one? I got one. <laughs> um, How many shoes you got, man? I got a lot. Probably over, um, I don't want nothing but joints. Number so, Jordan. Yeah, number Jones. What size shoe you wear? You uh, look like you might be. 12, 12 13. What size you wear? I wear a 12, man. I might be able to. I won't wear the same size. <laughs> uh, I might be able to push you over for what? <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, I got roughly over about 400 pair of joints. 400? Joint. Yeah, over 400 pair of joints. Give me the top three sneaker heads on the team. Uh, me. So you put yourself as number one? I know. I know. Me and TD. I was going to say, we I part, know. Me and TD part tied. Then I say Ed, Ed, and Mike Rimmers. Mike Rimmers, you gonna yeah. put Mike Rimmers in there? Mike up though. Okay. Mike, Mike, uh, Mike a big sneaky head. I've been wanting to get him on the show. You might have just gave me some more motivation to get him on the show. I talked to him for you. <laughs> now let me t let me ask you this. I've been trying to get more cool this season, man. I've been you know wearing my suits on Sunday and everything, and my son be like, "You need to get you some shoes." Yeah, yeah. So what what should be my first pair of shoes, man? You gotta go with the Jays, man. I gotta get I say joints. Any specific year or something? Retro. Retro Jordan. White? Any shoes between 1 to 14. You don't know what I want, 1 to 14. Yeah. They go all the way up to like 29, but 1 to 14, all, all the good retros. Yeah. So anywhere between uh, any color. It don't matter what color. Okay. Long day joints, you know what I'm saying? I know you, you. You shot, man. You, you better put, you know what I'm saying? Oh, better put it together? Yeah, you, you better put one or two together. Like, you, you, be good. <laughs> you know, I feel kind of old, though, because I feel like I might show my age a little bit. Like, man, I, but I was growing up with them shoes. They, yeah. they was already out. Yeah, so now yeah, I got to yeah. go back and get them again? Yeah. You ain't the only one. I'm saying, I say this. You ain't the only one doing it. Just going back, right? You ain't the only one going back. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to ask you one more, then I'm going to check out the Periscope and see, see what questions we got. Okay. You a big 
vehicle guy. I'm saying vehicle because I know you got the ATVs and the cars. Yeah. And last time we spoke, you had four ATVs yeah. and one dirt bike. What's what's the latest count? Are we still there? Five. Five yeah. ATVs. Five and ATVs bike. and one dirt bike. Yeah. What's the, what's the new one? Um, I got another uh, TRX 700. That's another one. one. The fast one. Yeah. One of them, you know, I got customized, so I ended up getting another one, so. I don't think these fun. people know how crazy you get when you go back home to Alabama. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me, safe fun. You know, I ain't gonna safe go out, fun? Yeah, I ain't gonna go out there acting crazy. So when you I, got your helmet on all the time? All the time. Okay. When I ride my dirt bike, I put my boots on, you know, booted and suited, so. Okay. I make sure, you know, I'm safe before I do anything crazy. All right. Yeah. Responsible crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to Periscope, see what's going on. Let the fans ask some questions for Mr. Mario Addison. So if you guys have been waiting on the road to Tampa with the Royal Riot, that's a big fan club that comes. They on their way down there to support you guys, man. This will be a up, pretty big crowd. Salute, salute. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, this is, a, this is a tough one. I wouldn't normally ask this, but they said, how close are you to returning next year? Even though that's not all in your control. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I love this organization. I would love to, you know, finish up here because it's a great organization, but um, I really do not know. Uh, please sack Winston, and somebody said twice. I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Uh, that's my goal too, actually. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm throwing everything at them that I have, even, even the kitchen sink. <laughs> I'm throwing it all at them. So um, hopefully I come up, you know, victorious. So that's my goal, two, sacks, two sacks again. Who would, you, who would you say is the most underrated player on your defensive side? Underrated? On, yeah, on, on your squad, on the Panthers. Um, I know I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Mario. I'm one, and I like it like that. I like coming off the bench like Ginobili. Ginobili. That's a good analogy. Yeah, Ginobili come off the pen and shoot third on him, easy. You know what I'm saying? So I like, I like, I like my, my job, you know what I'm saying? Coming off, doing what I do, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they Let's say numbers them. don't lie, so the numbers are supporting that, right? Exactly, that you, exactly. that you got that Ginobili exactly. going on. What does it feel like playing in front of thousands of, of fans on Sundays? When I first started playing, I used to get like real nervous, like hard being fast, all jittery and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, you be all, you know, amped up, you know, to be able to show the people what you can do out there. So you be more so happy than anything. And I say that you be nervous and happy at the same time. So it's like a combination of the two. <laughs> Uh, now we know that you are a big car man, so they want to know what is your dream car. How close are you to that dream car? Like my first dream car, I have. Okay. It, it was a Monte Carlo SS, which is outside. Which is outside. I drove it here, and that's that's my favorite car, like in the whole wide world. And uh, another car, I always said I wanted was a Ferrari, so. Um, that well, might be next. Probably, you know, that might be next. What color? Uh, red. Red for our. Now, I mean, I, I would just go to think, hopefully you stay here, but we understand you got to do it with the best interest because NFL yeah. careers aren't 20 years long. It's not. It's not. But with that next contract, yeah. that, might, that might help that Ferrari come along. It sure will. Uh, favorite Jordans? My favorite Jordans are the Great Fives. <laughs> great Fives are um, purple. You got a little black in, in, in the shoe. Mostly white. Great fives. Uh, something you miss about your childhood. I think you're still being a kid, though. Um, <laughs> I'm actually reliving my childhood right now. Like, when I go back home, like, riding four-wheelers, go car with my nephews, and, you know, dirt bikes. Uh, when I was growing up, you know, I didn't have access to all those things. So right now I'm kind of, like, reliving it right now. Uh, you got a favorite food? Favorite food? Um, Lemon pepper wings. Oh, I man. love lemon pepper wings. From my where? Favorite. Um, anywhere here in anywhere, particular? Anywhere who make them good. Anywhere who make them good. If they don't, I don't know. Yeah. What's the maintenance like for your beard? The maintenance? Yeah. Um, for me, you guys, I, um, I wash it every other day and I condition it a lot. Are you serious? Yeah, I condition it a real lot. It's I need so to go soft? Sometimes. <laughs> I need to go uh, condition it right now. But, um, I was on my way to go get a a haircut, but uh, somebody pulled me today Did they? To, to do an interview, so Man. that's why I ended up doing it. I'm 30 minutes late because of my good friend, <laughs> but it's all good. Hey, if you want, man, you can go with me because I still got to get mine before tomorrow at some point. Who cut your hair? Kenny. 
No, I ain't going to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, last one. Where would you live other than America? Um, two places. I say um, either uh, Canada or uh, London. Never okay. been to Canada, but I want to go to Canada. And I heard Canada real similar to us right now. But I've been to London for a week, and it's different. But everybody over there is the same as us. <laughs> we got light-skinned people, dark-skinned people, white people, Mexican. We got everything over there. <laughs> Only thing is different, they drive on the wrong side of the road. But other than that, it's just like us over here. I think I missed one question, so I'm going to let you guys type your questions one more. Somebody said I'm making them on. No, there's people have submitted their questions on Instagram and Twitter and Periscope. So I have questions coming from all of those. So I'm gonna see if one more question that comes up that yeah, I'm gonna pick. And if not, I will go back to some of the questions that I have for Mr. Addison. Five, four, three, two, one. No, I'm not coming to Tampa, but uh, I will still report on the game, and you can tune in on Sunday to watch my report on what will hopefully be a season-ending victory. Um, since we last interviewed, man, you guys have been yeah. out to the West Coast a few times, yeah. Uh, yeah. most notably for the Super Bowl. For the Super Bowl. Man. And I've noticed that you ran into a celebrity or two. So who, who have been some of the cooler celebrities that you've met in this past year since? In the Super Last year? Yeah. Well, I last mean, year. it could be Super Bowl well, it's still or this year. Because it ain't 2010. Well, since, since um, we didn't spoke. Yeah, okay. Um, I went to a couple of people. Um, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I met Snoop. Snoop was real cool. My eyes were burning when I met him. So, <laughs> I bet. Whatever was coming off his body was real loud. <laughs> so y'all know what I'm saying? Whatever he was doing, it was You still real, trying to pass loud. your test? You might oh, have to step man. back. Snoop was real loud. And I met, um, I met Ursha. Ursha was out there too. Yeah. Yeah, cool guy. I met, I met. A couple people, a couple good people. Anybody that you hoping hoping to run into that you really like to meet? Um, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Um, I would like to meet. I want to meet Mike Tyson. Okay. Yeah, Mike was beast, man. The champ. Yeah, Mike was beast. He always forever would be the champ in my heart. <laughs> I want my me and Mike, man. What are some some of the philosophies that you live by in life? Me, man. Um, I obviously want us to have fun. Work hard, play hard. I can, yeah, that's, I can, the, that's, that's the main thing. Uh, you know, hard work pays off. And, um, and I tell a lot of people, you know, uh, be responsible, man. I live by that. That's a big thing. Be disciplined. That's big on me, too. Because uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, even make it to the NFL, good players, they weren't disciplined enough, you know, um, to do the things they had to do to, like, in order to stick in the league. So they weren't disciplined, so they end up getting, you know, cut out the league because of their ways. So that's the main thing I say, be disciplined. Favorite sack this season? Favorite sack this season on um, Thursday night against Drew Brees, sack for fumble, and I recovered from fumble. So yeah, yeah, that was, that was my favorite this, this year. Are your sack celebrations premeditated or just bam, <clears throat> just come to you? Like in the beginning when I first started like a few years ago, then I, I celebrate, but now it's just, I call it act like you've been there before, you know. Okay. It's just, okay, that's that veteran. Yeah, it's veteran. Yeah, you just. How many? How many years for you now? Oh, uh, this is my sixth year. Okay. Well, this year is over, so I'm going to my seventh year. Okay. Yeah. How many years with the Panthers? Uh, I've been Panthers since four years. Four years. You don't want to go, do you? No. But you I, gotta I like get him, that man. paycheck. Yeah. Well, not not 100 percent gotta yeah, get the yeah, paycheck, yeah. but you hope to find yeah. that balance. Yeah. I only got yeah, time for one more question because. You know, I got to limit these shows so that you come back and say, Chris, kept me there for two hours. Oh, man, if you keep me longer than 30, man. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to tell everybody, Mike Reynolds, don't go, man. He going to... Uh, what, what's one of your best experiences since you've been with the team, but that's been off the field? Off the field? Um, this is the best one right here. Yeah, hands down the best one. Me, me, AJ, Luke, Kawan Short. And Graham Gano, we went on a seven-day cruise, like a Panther fans cruise. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Fun, man. Yeah. Like, it, it's hard to match that even <laughs> when I take my own trips, you know what I'm right, saying? I right. had fun with those guys, man. It was like two years ago, and that was one. Seven-day cruise? Seven-day. Which, which, which uh, places you got? We, uh, we went to um, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, and St. Kitts. Okay. Yeah. So... I advise all y'all, <laughs> get your nice little crew together 
Man, take a cruise, take a cruise, y'all. You just, the point is right there. But one thing, be responsible, right? Be responsible. Be responsible. Exactly. exactly. Have a designated driver, but you're on a cruise, so I guess yeah. you don't have to be too responsible. Just yeah. don't get passed out yeah, sloppy just drunk. <laughs> be careful, just be careful. Yeah. All right, so we got to cut it. Mario brought the car, so we're going to have a bonus clip that I didn't know about. And then something new, which is the office challenge, which I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's fun, man. It's just a little competitive thing that we do. Okay. Hopefully I'll win. And uh, so we're going to go out, check out this man's car and see you in a second. All right. We got a little special extra bonus here. Mr. Mario Addison. And uh, what is this we looking at, sir? My 85 Monte Carlo SS Supercharged. Okay. okay. You gonna give us a little tour about this thing here, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what we got here? It look clean. Inside. See, see, you done went through the security lines of Bank of America a few times on that on that backpack over there. <laughs> All right, so what we got in here, boss? I don't even want to sit um, in here, but it looks nice. And my Camaro, um, I got Camaro insides, digital dash. Is it? Let's see. I ain't got nothing in my pocket. No, go ahead, go ahead. All, right, all right. We got nice and digitized. Smell clean. Orange all around. Got the nice seats in the back. Super Sport in stitch on the, the headrest. And it's then, the uh, man, what is, what is all this in the trunk, man? You got to break down this trunk for me. Got a lot in this truck, including you gotta have. I don't know if you guys can see that. You gotta have hit stick. The name. Of tell, tell me about what's in this truck, man. Um, got um four JL audios, four twelves in here. I got four amps, well five amps in the back rail. All right. Not is that leather? You still got leather in the back? Yeah. And leather and velvet. What is that, velvet? <laughs> <laughs> That's stuff that you do just because you got a little project baby to work on. And uh, this, this right brace here. all the way around. Oh, got hit stick on, on the brakes. I don't know much, but uh, I heard when they got drilled holes in them brakes that they, they stopped. Oh, what's this on the on the brake pad? Hit stick. What's that on the brake pad? Yeah. I'm just trying to get mine pad. to stop regular. <laughs> Poor G Auto rims. Okay. This is the baby right here, huh? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see these buttons. We got buttons. What are these four buttons for? The windows. How'd they go up and down? I'm, looking, I'm, showing, I'm showing my ignorance right here, bro. <laughs> this up right here. Oh, because yeah. oh, you only got two windows. Yeah. See, y'all, I didn't know that. I, I, I had stuff like that. <laughs> okay, okay. We got the Afro pick for the beard <laughs> in, the, in the center. All right, what's this? We got a little power over yeah. here, looks like. Supercharged motor. Supercharged. All right. This look like this might get you in trouble right here. It will. Oh. <laughs> how much, how much horsepower we got under here? And look, this man about to do some work. He done seen something. Yeah. He want to fix it. He can't even focus. Supercharged and cat. I mean, more, more breathing than it came off. Look at it. Go ahead. Refocus. <laughs> how much power we got on the? Um, we're looking at power a little over 700. A little over 700. Yeah. How often do you get to drive this thing? Mm, whenever I want to, Fred. I, just, I bring it out of every blue moon. Okay. Yeah. Seven hundred. So this this was this was the dream car. Yeah. How long you done had this? Uh, like eight years. I just redid the whole thing like um, a few months ago, like five six months ago. What's next? Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> but next time I come on the show, hopefully I got something to tell you. <laughs> So we back, and you don't know what's about to happen. I really and, don't. And I, and I did that on purpose, but like I said, what we do now is we have a challenge at the end of the, the interview. Yeah. And it's just office games, man, just simple stuff that you would play in office. Because as you see, I don't have any coworkers here, so I like to play this, <laughs> this game, right? So, behold. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I know, I'm already here, and you see it coming, right? All my stuff gone. Yeah. So uh, this is called the Office Olympics. 
So we just make up games. So we got we got three games. The third one is optional. If you beat me the first two, then obviously we don't need to do the last one, right? That's yeah, true. So so look, we gotta get creative with it. So we got archery, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the archery with the rubber bands. Yep. And I'm gonna show the, we're gonna have the targets back here. We're gonna keep track of the points, right? Oh, okay, archery. Okay, so, okay, right? okay, okay. Well, you could, could call it the ghetto Olympics, but I call it office Olympics, right? Because this is the last one. And then we got any guess what we're gonna do with these? Bones. Yeah, yeah, the discus. Yeah. Yeah. The discus. So we got the discus competition here. This is gonna be after. This is gonna be after the archery. So we're gonna try, try to, to throw it to the Yeah, yeah. That's that's gonna be the second. Let's go, man. Who y'all who y'all going for? <laughs> if you save him. You got it, you got it. Then you're wrong. <laughs> and then the last one, if necessary, you heard the steeplechase? The horses going around a little the horses do a steeplechase. Yeah. We're gonna call this the staple chase. So yeah. we got a little stapler uh -huh. and we're gonna see who can hit the most staples. In like 10 seconds. That'll be our tie break and last. Who can get the most staples out? Who can get the most staples in the paper? Oh, in the paper? Yeah. Are you? I, I'm gonna right. win that one? No, I ain't gonna win. <laughs> let that be the last one there. Uh, I guess I'll be the gentleman and let you go first. So I'm, I'm gonna put these over. And uh, let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna pick a little start line. So uh, you can probably see this line right here. You see that little difference in the. And the paint yeah, yeah. Or, or the finishing. Yeah, yeah. So even though I got two rubber bands, you go, you're gonna get three shots. Well, we're gonna take turns okay. one at a time. So here's uh, step a little to the left, I guess, so the camera can, or to the right, whichever uh, way. So uh, left, right. Three points. One point. You got it. Okay. And then if you hit anywhere else, there's no point. Okay. So, so the middle section, three. Right here. Anywhere in here, it's three. Three. This one. 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 Anything else? Zero. All right. And this is mine right here. Yep. I guess I'm going to pick this side for me. Okay. All right. You got it? I'm, I'm going <laughs> to trust you to keep the score right. First annual. Y'all count, man, because he's trying to get me. Office Olympics in Charlotte, North Carolina. Go whenever you're ready, man. Just don't, don't cross the line. <laughs> Would you rather me have the real? No. Nah. <laughs> you need better though. That's a zero. 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 All right, that's a zero. All right. He's too strong on that. I think he was too high, right? That's three. Uh, that's three, <laughs> that's three, that's three. That's three. You been playing, you been practicing. Nah, man, man I just for don't want to. For you to hit three on the, on the real. <laughs> okay, okay. I just don't want to lose. Yeah, <laughs> You gonna come back? I knew you was gonna come back because you don't want to lose it. You got quiet before you fired that shot off. But I think you changed up your technique too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah I'm sure how I did. Nah, nah. Cause you I, shoot, my, my, you shoot, what kind of shoot on? My, my working. Yes. Why are you gonna talk to me doing my shot? Was that, a, was that on the line? I think it hit below. It wasn't on the line. Okay, was, was, that, that part was one. That was a one? Yeah. Okay. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna take that from you. You hit, <laughs> you hit, you hit down. So I got four. You got four. Okay. You change it up again though. Yeah. So four four. Four four. Four four. It's your shot. How, how many shots we get? We get three. Ah, oh, three? So that was your last shot, right? Yeah. Okay, so all you gotta do is hit anything. That's all you gotta do. Now you gotta hit something. And since you since since you like Jordan's, I should do it with my eyes closed, but I really wanna win, so I'm not gonna I'm, Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh. I missed. Yeah. I missed anyway. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do one tiebreaker. One, one shot. There you go. Your hand all over the line. You roll the line. Yeah. Oh, so now you're gonna use that. Now you're gonna use that. Now you're gonna use, now you're gonna use your arm reach and everything. I'm saying. Yeah, as long as you put behind the line, you can. I mean, you can. You can do that if you wanted to. Ah. Yeah, you didn't hit nothing. You want me to get him one? I give you the one. It was, I no, no, I give you the one to the show. Sure. Yeah, I'm positive, man, because you, you gave me mine. You know, we. How we shoot? Nah, I give you the one. No, 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 I want to give you the one because I feel like I don't have the best eyes and angle to see okay, that. So, you know, you're, you're a trustworthy guy. So I'm just make sure I win. <laughs> All right, so about one zero, and uh, we got the discus next. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna put this at an angle. Do you want to say we got to go in or just hit it? Let's just say hit it, probably. Going in, I think, would be kind of hard. What you think? Going in, going in. You want to go in? All right. Even though we only got 
two will go one at a time. So same thing, this, this little line that you can see here, kind of standing in that corner. Yep, over to that. Three. Three, one piece. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't do your technique on the archery. Man, that was, that was way short. You've been too gentle with it. Look, if, if, if you could, this is the, would be the most efficient, but you gotta be real. I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know, but you gotta, I feel like I have to be a little bit taller. You got that curve. You got that curve. If you don't get it straight, yeah. uh, I think we're gonna go to a. Uh, this one's gonna be hard, man. You want to go in. This could throw number two. That was improvement, though. I think you might get this last one. All right, let's see. Ah, I got it. Oh, we both might get this last one. We're both short, same, same curve. So obviously you say the same thing. It'll go straight and then the last two feet it curve. So you gotta aim beyond. You fake me out with that. You got a good pump fake, man. You got the other basket. You got the other basket. So, uh, I wish I could give you something for that, but again, I have fear of losing. So uh, if I can just hit one, then I'm good. I'm a little nervous, but I would love to win here. Oh, man. We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. All right, so what we're going to do is make sure this is it. We're going to say, if you don't go in, then basically the closest. So if you hit it or wherever it finally lands, being the closest. Or wherever it finally lands. I mean, that's the third one. First, go in. Second one, hit it. And then the third one is. You could just slide out. You could play safe. I might just try to slide it in. Oh. So basically, I got to hit it or go in, because that's, that's, that's pretty. Oh, I could try to slide ah. under in there. Now, I'm going to just try to go for the win. Oh. All right, so we're ah, going <laughs> to no. have to see who the closest. Man, that's, that's a tie. That's a tie right there, Mario. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a tie. Oh, no. Look at you. <laughs> what? What you, what, you closer? That's, that's, that's still like, well. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Well, get to you want. You want. You want. You want. You want. I can give it to you because it is still tied one to one. We still got to do something else anyway. So I give it to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I, I'm gonna, one more just one more. Sorry, I do one. We, okay, we're going to go one more. I was willing to give it to you. I mean, you asked if I would give it to you. <laughs> it was a tie. It's still a tie. <laughs> Now look at you, now look at you. No. Now look at you, you got the bad bounce. Now you're gonna make me feel bad because I won the first competition. So now it's gonna be over. Well, let's see, let's see. Well, you guys, it won't be another one. Nope. He beat me fast, and all the people had to beat me. But, but it's all good though, because you're one of my favorite people. That's that tough love that you give people, right? So, I appreciate everybody watching as always. I appreciate you coming on the show last man. Hopefully you'll continue to come on. And even if you don't come on, I might have to try to travel to where you are. If you don't happen to resign, I understand it ain't personal. It's just business. But uh, tell these people how to follow you and keep up with you. Um, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, Mario Edison. You would know it's me because it's verified. Verified, got a blue check on it. And yeah, yeah. I was about to say oh, in the video, but somebody got a fake picture. True. <laughs> or you can follow my, my, um, my Twitter or my Instagram. My, um, my Instagram is, is you, you can type in Mario Addis, it'll pop up to me to verify. Or you can type in Hitstick, H I T S T I Q number four. Low cryptic, my, low cryptic. And that's my um, same thing for my um, Twitter too, so go to the sign. And, uh, do I still have my invitation? You know the invitation I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Let's come to Alabama. Get on the bike. 
way too long, man. <laughs> well, I mean, we can't, we can't, we got to come in the off season, man. I can't. But is, is it is it cold down there right now? I mean, it might be good to ride in the snow, though. I have. See. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Put on some gloves. All right, that's it. I'll to it. All right. Appreciate y'all watching.